And snow's been piling up all day long in Maggie Valley and across Haywood County. News 13's Ashley Searles joins us live in Waynesville with our continuing coverage. Ashley? Yeah, it's freezing out here, and I mean that literally here in downtown Waynesville. The temperature's hovering around 30 degrees, and as this storm goes into the night, it just seems to be getting colder. They staying in. It's holding up again for another winter storm for residents on rural back roads. I'm tired of snow. I'm ready for warmer weather. We followed the only fresh snow tracks on Hyatt Cove Road to Will Ark's house at the unplowed end of a dead end. Yeah, we went to the grocery store just to get to be prepared. They say what's supposed to snow till Wednesday. Just in time for the holiday weekend that's supposed to land in the spring. When I noticed the pattern that it was in, and I knew it was going to hit right on us, so. Ain't nothing we can do. Get our sleds out, I guess. <laughs> In our Easter dresses. <laughs> this storm is poised to be the third big snowfall the western counties will get this season. And for the DOT crews working overtime for another time, seeing this thing coming was... Just disappointment. Uh, really, I, I think that we were ready for winter to be over. The concerns and procedures for this storm matched the ones that came earlier. But this time, a worry that people haggard and who've had it after a wet winter may forget. The same old saying, if you don't have to get out, you know, stay at home, uh, that's the safest place to be. Now, as of about a half hour ago, the Highway Patrol said there were no snow-related accidents reported so far, which is good news, maybe a sign that folks aren't only sick of the snow, they're sick of driving in it. Live from downtown Waynesville, Ashley Searles, News 13.